Meet Puppy, everybody. This is Puppy. I guess you kind of met her the other day. I have done a Puppy video before. I don't know whether this will come out, so I've decided to face the phone. So I can't actually see what I'm looking at. So for all I know right now, half my face is entirely cut off. Bye, Puppy. I've decided to do it because these cameras are significantly better quality. So I'm going to give it a go. I guess I'll watch it back before I upload it so all this stuff is uh, moot at the moment. I need to stop leaving these videos to last thing at night. Although, what I would say is, you know, for years upon years now actually let, let's start this story from the start years and years ago i read the miracle morning by hal elrod and i've talked about morning rituals before and if you've not read the book i highly recommend it and if you can't you can't be bothered reading the book at least watch some of his talks his keynote speeches right because you can get the essence of the book so much from his his talks and keynote speeches he He's put out so much content out there. And I think it's one, two, three, four, five, six aspects of creating a morning routine that he recommends after doing tons of research to find out like what are the pinnacles of, um, you know, what, what aspects of a morning routine work the best. So he's done that. So it's worth checking out. Uh, and one of them is journaling. Uh, I, it's probably the one that I have the least relationship with. Journaling for me has been incredibly difficult for years upon years upon years. And I've tried it in so many different for formats from voice notes to writing stuff down to like blogging to one-liners. Um, and I've been doing the, the one-liner day with medium success. That's about as close as I've got. But it occurred to me today that this, particularly over the past week or so, because it's been over Christmas, I've been at Rebecca's, I've been doing stuff out on my phone. Um, a lot of the content has been stream of consciousness, stream of conscience, consciousness, something like that. Basically, I've just been saying my thoughts, right? I haven't been kind of prepping anything. I haven't really been thinking about things that I want to talk about. It's been very reactive. So it's actually been quite a therapeutic journalistic process. I've no idea whether anybody's watching stuff and getting stuff from any of these videos, but I'm getting a sh sugar ton. Good change. Um, like a ton from just being able to like turn on a camera and talk about it. Just the act of turning on a camera and talking is absolutely crazy like when i first started doing this the the pressure of creating a video was tough like it was a video every single day for an entire year when i first started it was really really difficult to think of like what i was going to talk about the process that i was going to go through creating a thumbnail all that kind of stuff and now you know i've literally just got my phone i can't even write descriptions and add hashtags properly but I'm literally just hitting the record button and talking into a camera it's incredibly therapeutic and it's given me a sense of like confidence in being able to just talk about things openly even though there's nobody here to actually talk to it's quite good it's quite a good process so I actually think that for anybody it's worth doing something like this, like a process that you do every day to, and I'm talking about a public process now as well. Like journaling could be amazing, but I think so much a part of owning your story is actually sharing it with others to give other people the opportunity to have um, what effectively is like a, yeah, I've, I've experienced that too moment. So having some kind of public forum, whether it be like short podcasts, maybe it's like 
um, journaling a paragraph every day for a week and every week you publish that as like a as a newsletter or a blog article you have to change how I hand out this oh my god Ugh. right a couple of minutes left so write a podcast YouTube videos like write down a paragraph and then do a weekly blog or like it could be anything I think it's worthwhile like it, it there's so much power in it in terms of being able to articulate and own your own story and it's one of the most powerful lessons that I've learned in my own recovery and healing journey but it's also one of the most important things that I've heard other people talk about in terms of both their healing journeys but also clinicians and therapists talking about the importance of it being able to kind of reach back and understand what you've repressed what you've suppressed what your wounds are what your childhood experiences are and bring them out into the open there's a lot in it there's a lot in it so that's what i'm going to leave you with today because my arm is killing me holding my phone like this i'll see you tomorrow bye